Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Cricket and it has been a while I know since I, I said that intro and I'm really excited to to get back into it with you guys. Um, and to do that today, we are gonna be playing one of my favorite games of all time. It is incredibly nostalgic to me. It was pretty much my first game I ever played and then I played it for most of my childhood. Um, I'm excited to see how it stands up now that I am an adult. I have wanted to play this game since I started making gaming videos on this channel and it, is taking me, it has taken me this long to actually be able to play off of my GameCube. So this is the disc that I also used to play on as a kid, which is really exciting to me. I kept it this whole time um, just in case I wanted to do something with it. And here we are. So let's get into it with this tiny, tiny little disc. Oh, and, and because I do want to make a series out of this, we are, we are living with a luxury that I did not have as a child. We have a memory card, which means I'm going to be able to save my game and come back to it. How exciting is that? As a kid, I just had to kind of accept the fate that whatever I couldn't get done in that sitting, I was not going to get done at all. I'm so excited. It <laughs> This is like filling me with such childhood joy. I, I'm probably not going to stop grinning this entire playthrough until um, I lose a Pikmin, which I will do my best not to do, but I'm also playing... I'm also playing with this controller that I've also kept my entire life, so let's go! Let's go, I'm so excited. The music! I've seen this cut sequence so many times because I had to restart every time I wanted to play the game. Oh my god. Oh. oh the graphics. Here we go. Landing on a strange, strange place. God, this fucks. This music is so good. There he is. Olimar's in Smash, so a lot of people know about him, but I don't actually know if people know where he's from. Again, I've never met anyone who has played this game. So if you have played, let me know. Tell me in the comments, because I feel like for- I felt for a long time like this was kind of like a fever dream that me and my siblings shared. My name is Captain Olimar. While traveling through space, my ship was struck by a meteor. I must have blacked out, and I awoke on the surface of a weird planet. With so many parts lost, the skeletal hull of my beloved dolphin is a painful sight. The engine is gone. I'm stranded. High stakes, high stakes, people. To make matters worse, my atmospheric sensors indicate this planet's environment contains high levels of poisonous oxygen. My life support systems can function for only 30 days? If I can't repair the dolphin by then... No. Better not to think about it. I must find the missing ship parts. Let's go. Oh, we got a flower. Can I hit it? I want to hit the flower. I cannot hit the flower. Ooh, I can hit the flower. I can't pick that up. I don't have an onion yet. Anyone who hasn't played Pikmin is going to be so confused until the plot actually starts. Let's see. Okay, nothing there. I think I'm looking for the onion. The first one, the red one. I know later on the FOV is better. Um, I don't know when that happens, but right now it's very, very hard to see. So I'm gonna try to find the onion. <gasps> there it is, I walked right past it. There they go. A strange thing has appeared before me. I had barely begun my search when it reared up as if it were waiting for me. It then dropped a single seed. 
What is it? Is it alive? Is it a machine? It resembles a vegetable on my home planet that we call an onion. I shall call this an onion too. I'm so excited. Come here, friend. Pop out. Come on, sprout. Let's go. Let's go, dude. There he is. My little man. My first... My first little man. The seed that the onion dropped took root in the soil and has now produced an adorable little sprout. This sprout emits a strange light and it sways back and forth without benefit of wind. I cannot help but think it is calling to me. I am compelled. I must approach it and press A. Let's go. There he is! My man! Extraordinary! When I plucked the sprout, it turned out to be a living creature, not a plant. Picking it has done no visible damage. It just stands there, staring at me. Its shape is similar to the Pikmin brand carrots I love so much. I believe I shall call it a Pikmin. Hi. Here I am, stranded on a toxic planet fighting to survive, and yet I'm intrigued. I must research this fascinating creature. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get it, I get it, I get it. Hey, come here, come here. Pick it up. Let's make some friends, shall we? You're my first one, though. I'll name you Stuart. All right, next. We're gonna let them turn into flowers, because one thing I do remember is that if you leave your Pikmin in the ground longer, they turn into flowers and they go faster. I'm sorry, Stuart, you just didn't get that opportunity. Let's see, let's see, let's see. What else can we get right now, at this moment? Not much, it seems. All right, well, I'm bored of waiting, so let's go ahead and harvest y'all. You're gonna be flowers, but it's fine. We can find some nectar later and make y'all flowers. You're gonna be leaves, not flowers. Oop. How many besties do we have? We have seven besties. More than enough for this five over here. Yes. Yes. If I remember pretty, like, soon into the game, you start having, like, kind of an absurd amount of red Pikmin just because they're, like, the basic ones. I don't think they want me to wait until they're flowers yet. They just want me to, like, move that box out of the way, so... I'll let the tutorial tutorialize me, even though I was trained at this from birth. What are you doing? Why aren't you helping your friends? Nice. I can see two from here. Wonderful, amazing, fantastic. Mm -hmm. Brilliant. The Pikmin are as curious as children. They form groups to perform tasks that would be impossible for an individual. A glimmer of hope has begun to shine in my heart. If I can make use of their skills, perhaps I can fix my ship. I shall sum up all I've learned of Pikmin conduct. Yes, I know. Thank you. Let's go! Ship part number one. Amazing, there's no mistaking it. My ship's engine rests before my very eyes. By a stroke of pure luck, I have already stumbled upon the most important piece of my damaged craft. Fate has smiled upon me, but how will I get it back to the dolphin? Let's go. I need 20? Damn, okay. We gotta mass produce these bitches. Two of y'all go here. There we go. You go over there. We're gonna have one, two, three, four, five. And then one, two. Just so y'all can go a little faster. What's over here? A wall? Why are they carrying it sideways? That's an interesting decision. All right, besties, whatever you say. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to go as long as possible without losing a Pikmin. I know it's pretty easy to lose a Pikmin, especially at the beginning of the game, and I have not played this in a long time, but the sounds that they make when they die genuinely traumatize me, so I'm gonna try not to do that. I want them to live long, happy lives, so I'm gonna try 
to go as long as I can without losing any Pikmin, and to lose as little Pikmin as I can. Noticed that when I add Pikmin to my group, they become filled with excitement and flush with bright color. At other times, they revert to a paler hue and give off a dim glow. Paying close attention to these differences is bound to help me distinguish between Pikmin. That's so cute. They're so excited to help that they turn bright red. I love- no. Come over here. Can you hear the loud ass tapping of this controller? I love it. I love it. It's the tactile feel of a mechanical keyboard. No. All right, let's go. We've got 23. That's more than enough. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right, everyone help out. No man left behind. Just because the minimum is 20 doesn't mean we want those 20 of our friends to be bearing all the load. You got to help them make it a little easier, make it a little lighter, you know? They know to bring it to my ship. I love them. They're so cute. <gasps> Here we go. Amazing. Oh, glorious. With the help of these Pikmin, I have taken a huge step back towards home. My ship can once again lift off. The glimmer of hope is beginning to burn more brightly. But what has become of the remaining parts? That search starts tomorrow. This music plays in my head every day, all day. I love it. But it also reminds me of immensely stressful situations because you can leave your Pikmin behind if you haven't like whistled them to be paying attention to you and night falls, they will die. <laughs> there are many, many ways for your Pikmin to die and I'm, I'm terrified. I just want them to be okay. One day since impact, I have somehow managed to launch the dolphin, but I was surprised to see the onion lift off with me. Perhaps the Pikmin cannot survive overnight on the planet's surface, or have they merely decided to join me for other reasons? Either way, it seems they will help me again tomorrow. The dolphin is missing 29 parts. If I can't recover them all, I may never return home to my family on planet Hokitate. So, you know, low stakes. Analysis shows life support systems will function for only 29 more days. Okay, so one piece per day. I just can't fuck up at all. <laughs> How can I repair my dolphin in such a short time? A dense forest is visible on the surface below. As it holds the keys to my survival, I name it the Forest of Hope. I explore it tomorrow. Here we go. Here we go. The Forest of Hope. Oh, and I can see a Bulborb already. Let's go, besties. Let's go. All right. All of our friends that we make today, we're gonna let them become flowers. I need some flower Pikmin. That took far too long. Do better next time, okay? Ooh, there's a yellow one. Are we gonna run into yellow Pikmin? Ooh, there's more yellow flowers. I think this is where we get yellow Pikmin. I'm so excited. So for the, for the uninitiated, the red Pikmin, are like the basic Pikmin, they're the common ones. They are good to, for like fighting and stuff like that, um, carrying stuff, and they're immune to fire. And see with these guys, oh, hello. Okay, thank you, I guess. Um, the strat is to surprise them so they don't eat your Pikmin. And if I lose a Pikmin this soon, I'm gonna be ashamed and humiliated. Oh God, oh my God. I was fucking, uh, I'm so, <laughs> I made a whole thing about not losing a Pikmin and trying not to because it traumatizes my soul. And then I did immediately because I was talking. I hate this. This is, this game is horrible and mean. Basically, with these guys, you kind of just want to overwhelm them. Or it's not gonna go well for anyone. That's a 10. Exciting. There's also a part over there. Also good to know. Let's 
get this five, actually. What? What can I hear? Okay. And then, I think... What I'm gonna do... Is I'm gonna ambush these bitches. Do not go in the water. It's the eternal fuel dynamo. It has an unlimited energy supply. I won't have to worry about saving electricity anymore. This will make my fight for survival a bit easier. I bet that needs 20. So right now, we're just gonna fuck these guys up immensely. No! No, I lost one. Again. That's a, it needs 40? It needs 40? Ooh, I have one flower. Oh, the sound it makes when they change. Perfect, impeccable, wonderful, amazing. All right, and then we're gonna go try to get that 10 and try to not activate the big bitch over there. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Run, 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 come on. Okay, and I think it does, like, get full, so I am, I think, gonna harvest. Harvest? That sounds so... insidious. Threatening harvest in regards to living things, but uh, I mean, just, like, pluck them. That's it. Pluck them. Man, I want some flowers. There they are. I'm gonna try to pull just this guy. There we go. This may be a bad idea, but I'm gonna try to go kill that big guy with the ones that I have on me right now. All right, we're gonna sneak behind him. We're gonna sneak behind him like this, stay against the wall. Come on. All right, we're well behind him now. And then just get on his back, really a lot. Come on, come on, almost there. Come on, get him before he can bite you. No! This may be a bad idea. Oh, I lost, I've lost so many today, I feel awful. For right now, this is fine, 28. Um, and I'm gonna go take down that wall over there. Cause I think, I think if I remember correctly, um, Behind that wall is the yellow Pikmin. Oh, and there's another bitch. Of course there's another bitch. See, if you can hit them just right, you can squash them, but that's not what happened. That is not what happened. I don't think he got one. I think he just bit one. So we're gonna go around this way and discover the yellow Pikmin and try not to wake him up. Okay, there we are. All right, all right, and we've got, come on. No, no, we're running, 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 we're running very rapidly. My leaf Pikmin are so slow. We are running, we are booking it. Is he chasing us? He is not. Okay, I'm gonna go get some more Pikmin and then because he dared eat one of my Pikmin. So he can go fuck himself. Okay, we're gonna pull up this guy and have yellow Pikmin technically, and then the day's gonna be over. I have to go chase down those. 
I'm so stressed. This game is so stressful. Why is it so stressful? Okay. The color is different, but it seems to be a Pikmin nonetheless. First glance suggests this one has what, in some circles, could be considered very large ears. It looks like it may weigh less than the others. In what other ways might it be different from the red Pikmin? No matter. They are obviously quite similar, so I shall call this one a Pikmin as well. Alright, yes, it's sunset. I know what the implications of this are. Bestie, you go up in there, and then I'm gonna run and try to catch my guys who are gonna die. Do not! If the countdown starts, I'm gonna cry. Alright, I'm gonna... Okay, they're fine. I need to get you. Uh, there it is, there it is. Come on, faster, 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 faster. You can do it. There we go. All right, come here. And I like, I just like putting them in there at the end of the night. I know I don't have to, but I like to. Just to be safe, to know that they are safe. I'll get that flower. I'll get you. I'll get you. I'll get you. And you. And you. And you. Alright, there we go. <sighs> I didn't get a piece today, but I found one, so that's fine. <laughs> How many did I, did I lose today? Six! That is too many. That is too many to have lost in one day. I wish when you came back the next day, they were all flowers. That makes sense, doesn't it? It would make sense that they would all be flowers. And yet, when you pull the Pikmin out of the onion, the flower ones come first. So not that I'm gonna be racist against them, but I am gonna just take, I'm gonna take 40 and make it so that the most of them are flowers. There we go. And because, the bulb orbs do not respawn overnight. I can just have a casual little stroll over here and pick this up. There we go. All right, and now I'm gonna go get my yellow pigment out because we need to, to give him some friends. And Pikmin will only carry objects to their own onion. So, if I do want him to have friends, I have to have him... Man, they throw far. I really need to account for that. Is there one up there? No, there's a little dandelion. Here we go. Eternal Fuel Dynamo! No more candles! Two of 30 parts. I need three more to repair the radar. Okay. Y'all can go home for a little bit. I'm just gonna focus on my my yellow guy today and try to get him some, some pals. Oh, those are all gonna turn into flowers at the same time. That's gonna be so exciting. All right, got three now to account for how far I can throw you, but we're gonna go here. I'll get used to it eventually. I think I saw some just kind of like floating around over here. Okay, so you get that one. You get that one. Hmm. Maybe I don't want to grab some from over here. I'll get this one. Nice. Oh, you know what? I may go get my red Pikmin just to kill that bulb orb over there. And then, you know, how many do you think we need to, to overwhelm that bulb orb? Let's go with 50, just to make sure that he has no chance. Do I have 50 flowers? 
Or am I gonna have some stragglers? No. Yes. See, it's worth the wait. It's worth the wait to make them flowers. Because now they're as fast as I am. The only problem is... Um... If we go about this incorrectly, and even if we go about it correctly, honestly, the bulb orb can like shake them off, and that will that'll make them buds or leaves again. So, uh, let's go! Come on, we haven't lost any yet. Oh, we did lose some some flowers. No, three. The fact that they're little ghosts float up into the sky? Unbelievable. Evil. It is noon, and I haven't done anything of value except get several yellow Pikmin. Oh, one of them fell. Come back. It's okay. I'm gonna have the yellow Pikmin take him back. They're so slow. Come on, busties. I know you can do it. I'm sorry I didn't wait and let you turn into flowers. Okay, that's gonna be all of them. I wish I could carry something. I feel like I'm really not pulling my weight around here. Nice. It's a good amount. It's a lot. All right, let's go. We have not gotten a part. Well, we, we got yesterday's part today. So I need to find some other parts and see what the next like item on the menu for us to do is gonna be. I think it's something to do with these. And if I remember correctly, they're very scary. So y'all pick them up. Yeah. Okay. The yellow Pikmin have picked up some peculiar stones. Why did they decide to grab them? This action seems to be instinctive to the yellow Pikmin. But what are these strange glowing stones? Perhaps these cracks indicate that there is tremendous power locked away within. Yeah, they're bombs. Um, and the reason those yellow Pikmin are like that, no, I need this, um, is because you need to separate the bomb Pikmin from your, your normal guys, because if you don't, your normal guys will explode and not get out of the way when the bombs go off. So y'all can, uh, can take these. And then you guys are gonna stay here, and I need y'all. So. Yeah, okay. I remember losing Pikmin to this shit. It's not fun. Get out of the front. Thank you. Oh my god. Okay, so the little orb by the orb with my face on it shows me what Pikmin is in front and I'm about to throw. And the one that isn't holding a bomb was just standing in the front for some reason. So I was just gonna throw him instead. Okay, fine, I'll throw you over here. There we go. All right. The rest of y'all... Why are you here? Why are you holding a bomb still? No! <gasps> Why did he drop it? <laughs> They're so stupid sometimes. Oh my god. I'm so sad. Why did you do that? Why did you drop it? I just lost, like, half the Pikmin that I produced today. <laughs> okay, now I need to follow these guys back so that they don't die of nighttime. Yeah, you're, you're pretty fast. I think it's gonna be fine. I think. I think. I'll come back for you, don't worry. I'm just gonna get my guys up here and make sure they're not just like sitting around come on where are y'all come on come on come on come on come on made a lot of a lot of white pigment today or um 
yellow Pikmin today. That's very good. I'm so scared that I'm just like gonna forget someone somewhere. There we go. <sighs> that was such a stressful day. That was such a stressful day. Three days since impact. I now add yellow Pikmin to my list of discoveries. These creatures can wield bomb rocks, so I perhaps can use them to blast down rock walls and open up new regions. Red and yellow Pikmin, as well as bomb rock carriers, break into squads when dismissed with X. I grab one for a moment by holding A. Yes, I know. I lost nine Pikmin today, and most of those were that fucking bomb. I think that that is enough for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. It was fun, if harrowing. Um, I'm excited to do more of these. Hopefully I'll find a solution for my light. I'm sorry that the last half of this video, I was purple. So I'm sorry about that. I'm gonna try to try, try to fix it. I try to be as professional as possible, despite the circumstances being me living in a dorm right now. Um, but yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, let me know. Give it a like, comment. Let me know if you've played this before or if you've never heard of it in your entire life and you're shocked that um, it was actually a game. You just thought Olimar was from Smash. <laughs> anyway, thanks again. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.